So I've went over how to lighten areas on the face of a portrait model. You can also darken areas if you want. And a lot of people would say, oh, you can use burn and dodge. You know, you can lighten light areas, darken darker areas. But another way to darken areas on a portrait is to just duplicate the layer. So control J on the PC, command J on the Mac. And then change the layer blending mode and set it like screen or lighten, which would lighten. The effect, uh, just go to multiply. So we need to mask this out. So hold down alt on the PC or option on the Mac and click add layer mask. That's going to mask out that layer. And then we want to add with a nice soft edge brush, hardness set to 0%, foreground color set to white, and let's say just wanted the lips to be darker here. Well, we can left and right bracket to resize the brush, and you can just click and drag. Oh, went over a little bit, and that's fine. I can show you how to fix that. All right, hit X to flip, so now the foreground's black, and we can uh, fix right where we kind of went over the edge there a little bit. All right, and if you think it's too strong, you can bring the opacity down, probably about like, I got like 42% or so. There's before and there's after. So you can also, you know, if you click and drag some white here, it's gonna darken her skin a little bit, like so. All right, if you want kind of a, more of a sh shadowy area there, or even darkening the eyebrows. And the cool thing about mask, again, we can hit X, paint black in if we go over the edge. If you want a hard edge there, we can just make the hardness set to 100% and then get a little bit more straight edge. Do you see why we don't usually do a hard edge though? See how you can really see the edge of it? So it's better to have hardness a little bit lower and bring some of that back in there, something like that. All right, so that's how you darken areas on the face. Again, adjust the opacity here so it's not as obvious it's not as obvious that it's photoshopped we're looking for subtle techniques here so it's a pretty cool look we can darken the lips eyebrows just using a multiply layer blending mode and a selective mask